Hi guys, it's your man L. It seems like I was wrong about the timing of Zong 100 episode 9 and it aired last Monday so let's go. At first we see that in a flashback, we see a younger Akira having a conversation with his father about his dreams. In the present, Kincho informs the group that they are approaching Akira's hometown. Shizuka, Beatrix, and Kincho are excited about the prospect of meeting Akira's family. Akira, on the other hand, is concerned about how his father will react to him being out of work when they arrive. It seems like Akira doesn't understand his dad very well and it's quite normal for young people to act like that. We see Akira bring the RV to a halt upon spotting a barricade of cards blocking the tunnel that would lead them to his hometown. He leaves the RV to investigate and finds a tunnel infested with zombies, none of whom resemble the people from his village. Consequently, the group opts for an alternate route to reach the village. I wonder if there's actually such a remote place in Japan. It would be kinda interesting to visit such a place. Then we see that during their journey, Shizuka expresses her belief that the villagers are probably safe, as they manage to seal off the zombies in the tunnel. Their path crosses that of a man named Masaru, whom they save from a zombie boar. Masaru shares his story and leads them to a treehouse he's constructing. Akira is inspired and enlists Shizuka, Kincho, and Beatrix to assist Masaru in completing his project. While working, Masaru shares his philosophy about trees and the forest's voice. Akira reflects on how this concept might change his perspective on others, himself, and the world, wondering if it will influence his bucket list. Masaru compliments Akira's hard work but later reveals the tragic story of having to kill his own son, who had turned into a zombie. Akira consoles him, and they continue their work on the treehouse. With Shizuka and Beatrix's help, they finish the project and enjoy some quality time together. Afterward, Masaru decides to stay in the treehouse for a while and offers his assistance if they ever need it. This part was really touching and I honestly felt bad for the old man. I mean imagine having to kill your loved ones with your own hands, that fate is just too cruel. Next we see Akira and his friends continue their journey to his hometown. Along the way, he shares some historical and local insights about the place. Upon arriving, Akira points out his home to Beatrix, Shizuka, and Kincho. As they approach the town, Akira notices an eerie silence and disarray, which alarms him. Anxious, he rushes home, only to find the townspeople engaged in lively celebrations. They inform Akira's parents about his return. Grateful, Akira expresses his thanks to his father for his support and apologizes for not doing more for them. His father responds with a playful scolding and tells Akira's friends that they have empty rooms they can use, suggesting they get some rest. He then tells his wife that he's heading to the fields and leaves her in charge. This part was quite funny and it nicely portrayed how much Akira's parents love him even though it was very subtly done. Moving on we see Akira's mother kindly serves food to Akira and his friends, explaining how the village has been coping before and after the zombie outbreak. Regarding the zombies in the tunnel, she reveals that some people tried to seek refuge in the village but ended up infected, leading to a widespread infection. To contain the threat, they had to seal the tunnel. Thankfully, some survivors have integrated well into the community. Beatrix, inspired by the village's history, suggests Akira add a historic home renovation item to his bucket list. Akira likes the idea but feels more compelled to focus on repaying his parents. Kincho, Shizuka, and Beatrix head off to explore the village, leaving Akira alone with his mother. He decides to help his mother as part of his repayment plan. So it seems like the villagers are really good people and they are trying to help everyone as much as possible for them. Then we see Akira's mother expresses her gratitude for his concern but suggests he rest after his long journey. His father arrives and asks for his assistance with some farm work. Despite his efforts, Akira struggles to connect with his father. He excuses himself to wash his face and contemplates how he can bring happiness to his parents. 
Meanwhile, it becomes evident that Akira's father is seriously ill and in pain. Akira returns with green beans and follows his father back home, encountering a group of city dwellers on the way. One of them strikes Akira as familiar. Looks like Akira doesn't understand his parents at all which is weird even if he was away from home for a while. Also it seems like Akira's dad has some sort of illness and might die soon. At the end we see that the city folks make their way to the tunnel, which riles up the zombies. We're taken back to a flashback that centers on the man who seemed familiar to Akira. In this flashback, we get insights into his life and motivations both before and after the outbreak. Amid the outbreak, he comes across three other individuals and discovers an extra notebook. He begins recording not-so-upstanding ideas from himself and his companions. In the present, the man closes this notebook, which curiously shares a title reminiscent of Akira's bucket list. He and his group seem poised to engage in something reckless. This new guy is obviously a parallel to Akira and this will most likely show us what would have happened if Akira went down the wrong path. Overall it was a solid build-up episode and things were picking up but sadly it seems that ZOM 100 is going on indefinite hiatus due to losing their broadcasting slot because of continuous delays so we will probably have to wait 3 months for the remaining episodes. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video and want to see me make more then hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to say something then leave a comment, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.